Is this Mistral Cup applicator gonna solve all of your problems? Is it going to bring about world peace? Is it a gimmick? Did it work for me? Hi, and welcome to the Period Nirvana channel. My name is Kim Rosas, and I will be your period products expert in this video today. Although this product made me feel like less of an expert than I usually am. Period Nirvana is an educational resource that helps you learn how to use and succeed with menstrual cups and discs. If you're looking to get started or you need more assistance, check out our quiz on periodnirvana.com that helps you find the right cup or disc for you and it's meant for new and experienced users. I also run the retail store period.shop. If you're looking for reusable period products, we have all of the best brands, and we even have some really fun accessories. One last thing, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. When the Sunny Cup and Applicator first came across my screen, I was immediately skeptical because I've been using Mr. Cups for a while, and there were so many issues that they would need to address to make something that inserts without your hands successful and leak-free. <laughs> I've seen all of your tags. Yes, I will at some point review the Sunny Menstrual Cup and Applicator. I have to, of course, pre-order one. Having not tried it, I will just give you my quick thoughts. The first, very positive. I think out of all of the different options of Menstrual Cup applicators, this is the best designed and has the most promise. And that also depends on does the cup fit the anatomy of the person. Here is where I get a little more negative. Menstrual cups are very individual. There is no one size fits all menstrual cup. However, I was also extremely hopeful because there are some people who cannot use insertable products like cups and discs. If you have a disability or reach issue, an applicator can help. And if it opens, then that's amazing. We're going back to skeptical because if they can't insert the cup, can they also remove a cup that doesn't have a removal aid? So I will try one and I'm really, really hoping it's gonna work for everyone. Before we get into the review, I wanna do an unboxing, one of my favorite things to do on video. So it comes in a poly mailer that is customized with their logo, it says hi there, so it's very cute. And this is what you get. So let's open our box, except it's sealed. Okay. And this is what it looks like inside of your case, the how to use booklet right here. Behind that is gonna be your pouch. Here is your cup and of course, the applicator. This is the barrel, this is the pusher. This cup only works in this applicator. No other cup works in this applicator. It's not a universal applicator. So let's talk about the features of the cup first. They don't really call it a size of anything. It's just sunny cup. They don't refer to it as a small or a large. Menstrual cups are not one size fits all. So that's one of the reasons I was initially very skeptical of this product is because it's advertised to sort of work for everyone, but that's not how menstrual cups work by design, they really do need to fit your anatomy well. I was relieved at the product itself. The walls are very thin and you'll see it has to be thin to fold into the applicator, um, but the rim is super firm. I gave the rim a four on the period Nirvana firmness scales. The cup's diameter is 43 millimeters, which really puts it in line with larger size menstrual cups, cups that would be considered size two or size regular, size large, like salt regular. The capacity is only 25 milliliters for a large menstrual cup that's on the lower capacity side because of the way it's designed, it like goes to a point. So it loses capacity in that way. The total length of the cup from the highest point, which is I measured it myself, calipers highest down to the tip of the stem is 72 millimeters. And if you trim the stem, which is what I had to do, it is a 53 millimeter body length from the highest point of this tilted rim to the base. Now the applicator, this is made of TPU. By the videos that I watched, I always kind of assumed this tip was way more flexible. Um, it is definitely stiffer than I expected. Ow. It is sort of a thinner version of what's below it. And then this is the barrel that pushes it out. What I did really like about the design is that it has cute little things on it that are just nice touches. It has a little tiny smiley face on the bottom, which is their logo. And then on the barrel, it says, hello, sunshine. And it does click close, so these pieces won't come apart when it is in storage. Um, but when you're actually trying to use it, um, if you're just holding it, this can come out. So that's shit. And the other part is that you could drop this on the floor, which I just did. And it doesn't have a lot of stuff to hold onto down here. It's not flared out in a way that makes it easier to push. So there's definitely some um, issues I have with just the applicator that makes it harder to use. It's designed to help people who uh, struggled with menstrual cups, but it 
in itself can be a little clunky and slippery and, and hard to use. For the pouch that comes with it, you can store both the cup and the applicator inside. So they don't give you two pouches. You're basically going to store them both in this one pouch because um, you don't want to just throw the applicator in your purse. It's going to get covered in crumbs. I mentioned that the cup is sort of a size two. It is a wider diameter. It's a very firm cup. And these are things that are kind of necessary for this to have any chance of working inside of your body when it's pushed in with an applicator. I always say when you're trying to decide between a menstrual cup and you don't know if you're size one or if you're size two or size small or large or small or regular, size up if you're on the fence. You will never make a cup that's too small in diameter fit you well. It's just gonna slip and slip and slip and not be comfortable and be ineffective and you're gonna give up. At least with a larger size, if you go larger over smaller, it's going to force open the vaginal canal. The vagina is intended to stretch so you have a better chance of it working. The downsides would be that larger cups might be more uncomfortable if it's not really a good fit for your anatomy and firmer cups also might not be more comfortable for you if you have a more sensitive anatomy. Let's have a stem, it's got a spiral uh, grip design. I immediately ended up chopping it off because it was just not comfortable for me. The stem is driving me nuts. As much as I would like to keep it, because I think later on in my period, I'll be okay with it uh, when my cervix is higher, I can't live like this anymore. When I cut the stem, it looked like it had a giant hole in it. It's hollow, but the, the bottom of the cup is completely sealed. You're not gonna have an issue with that. The basics of how Sunny Cup works. You are going to fold your cup, and you have to fold it in a very specific way. It's called the Sunny Cup Fold. You push it down like a punch down fold, squeeze it really tight to where it's a narrow tip, and then you take the extra body of the cup and you fold it around itself. Now this takes quite a bit of dexterity. Um, so if you have trouble folding cups and inserting them, this might be an additional struggle. Then you put it inside and see, sometimes I could do it real easy and sometimes I can't. Can you hear that? It's a little squeaky. Now, if you have the stem on your cup, you're gonna have to like push it into um, the hole in the pusher. When it comes to the size of the product, I don't wanna get too hung up on that. I also did another video about comparing different menstrual cup applicators, but I just wanted to quickly mention it because I know it can be very intimidating. It is going to look so much larger than a tampon applicator, like quite quite the difference here, uh, but it is smaller than this universal menstrual cup applicator that doesn't really quite work well, at least for me. If you're comparing this, there's a huge difference, but when you think about what a menstrual cup looks like folded, when you insert it, it's not really that far off. So it is intimidatingly large, but you can use a little bit of lubricant on the outside of the applicator. It is not that bad. and. Their directions are gonna tell you to put it in to about where the green tip is into your body. You can maybe put it in a little less or a little more depending on what feels comfortable for you, but that's what's directed. This is your body. You're going to put that green tip in and that's when you're gonna push your cup through the barrel into your body. And it's going to, if all goes well, open completely and then you remove this. That looked so easy. <laughs> I wish it were that easy for me. As with any menstrual cup, it's going to hopefully open and seal. This really firm rim does seem to do a really good job for me to open when I'm using the applicator most of the time, but not all the time. When it's time to remove, you still need to break the seal. So the applicator helps you insert the product. There is nothing to help you remove it. You still have to do it old school. You're still gonna have to go in with your fingers and pinch this to help break the seal. Here's the thing though, this is a very soft body. So just pinching the base is probably not gonna break your seal the way it would help break a seal on a different cup where the body is firmer and it helps you like push. So I really did not love the experience of removing because it felt like sometimes it was still suction. And I was, so what I did is I just did this. I did this side to side until I could get it really low and then I pushed and I angled the rim as I removed it to try to help reduce any discomfort. It's not comfortable coming out. And that's how it works. It looks so easy in demos, but the real 
test here was how does it work in your body at the end of the day? I mean, the applicator is the device that's putting it in your body, and that is an important selling feature. Obviously, that's what everyone is interested in is will this applicator work? That's important, but really the most important thing for a successful period with any product is does the cup fit you? Is it going to leak? Is it comfortable? Because if it doesn't do any of those things, the fact that you pushed it in with a, a launching device, that's just the beginning of your battle. It has to work for you. When I first got my verse version, I immediately did a dry run. And I did a couple of dry runs. I won't have my period for a few weeks, but I wanted to see how just trying to insert it works. I can't position this camera. I just don't want you to see my privates. This bathroom is a mess. All right, here we go. We're going in just like we would as if I were on my period. Put a little bit of the product the tip in not all the way they say you don't have to go deep finding it really hard to press if i push this with the force i needed it would like rocket <laughs> okay i'm gonna lube it up I'm gonna use some water-based lubricant and I wanna put it on the product, the cup, to help it go through the applicator without having to push really hard. Let's see, I'm gonna use two hands and a little, aim towards my back. Ooh. Ha! Huh. <laughs> it does have a firm rim, I'm sweating. I want to say it's open with some manual assistance. It's because each one had some challenges. Where I ran into trouble was pushing the cup through the applicator. And it's so weird because when I do it here, it's so easy. It comes out without any resistance. So I was expecting the same. When it's in your body, it's a very different experience. After I did all of those dry runs, um, I was very nervous about using it on my period because it did not feel like the cup was opening and I did feel like I was having to push it open. What's hard though is that the walls are so soft that it's hard to tell if the cup itself is open at the top because the dent can also mean that it's sort of like the body is sucked in vacuumed in and the top is open, which could still be a successful experience. That turns out to be related more to the thinness of the body of the cup than it actually opening and sealing. But essentially it was sort of collapsing in on itself and it felt like it was, was not open. So I do have good news. Once my period finally came, I was able to try the Sunny Cup and Applicator. Very soon, I can say yes, I have tried and reviewed the sunny cup after this week. It was, it did not, I was getting sweaty. I was getting sweaty. It was way harder than I expected. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Now for real, for real, no goofing off. Sims always off to the side for me, but I think that's probably fine. It doesn't want to come out. <laughs> I'm using two hands. It's stuck. It's considerable force to push this out, but it's coming. I'm trying to do it slow so it doesn't hurt. Nope. Why is this getting stuck? I'm getting red. Something's happening. The tail is inside the cup, but I just pulled it out. Okay. I did this yesterday because I thought I started my period and it didn't go great. So today we're going to do a better job of getting this in there. I hope. Mm 
Stem. The stem's like popped in, so you have to pull the stem out because it's always stuck inside the cup. Um. My technique was to just insert it and not check it and not do anything because I just felt like if it's an applicator cup, that's what people may be doing. They're expecting it to work like a tampon. They're expecting to like push it up and then let it go. And I was shocked and amazed and frankly, very relieved that it did not leak. I am relieved because so far it has been leak free. I've had placement issues and, um, you know, I am not loving the process of insertion, um, but I am relieved because it's not leaking. And that gives me hope that even though this is not a product I think I would ever want to use because I don't need it, I'm not the target audience. I do want it to work for people. So the fact that it works for me is a good sign that it's going to work for other people. But then it, you know, you have to take it out. And I took it out, but this thing has a very wide rim. I've taken this cup out a couple of times now. It's currently completely sucked in on itself right now. Like the, the walls meet, um, <clears throat> they're essentially touching when I reach in for it right now. And the rim is um, big, so triangle it. Ugh. So it is getting blood. And the wide rim means that it can be uncomfortable to take it out. So I would suggest tilting it one way or the other, um, just to kind of help reduce the diameter of the cup. What's challenging is that this has an angled rim, so you might tilt it the wrong way. It doesn't have the same effect as if you tilt it down where it is the shortest. It's still dented in a little bit, the body, but I assume the rim is not because it didn't leak. 10 milliliters. And then you have to put it back in. It's a at least twice a day product, maybe more. With any luck, uh, the more I do this, the easier and faster it gets because definitely um, like this is not as fast or frankly as easy for me as inserting with my hands, but obviously for other people it would be beneficial, but it'd be nice to get the speed up. And I again had a lot of troubles with that process. One more time. All right, that was good. That was good. Good job, Kim. There we go. I'm stuck again. Fuck. I'm stuck again. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want to push too hard. That's scary. This is the part that I have to brace myself for is when it comes out of the thing and it pops open. It didn't pop, oh, thank God. I want to say on day two that I did take it out in the shower. I'm trying to go by memory. I did take it out in the shower and dump it and wash it there. Um, but I didn't have, didn't have the applicator in the shower. And I decided I wanted to try just inserting it in the shower without the applicator. Um, that was actually more difficult than I expected. It really is a product that needs its applicator. I mean, you can do it, and I did it, um, but it was really hard because this is all so thin. And so once you fold it and try to like push it in, it's just more difficult than it would be with a regular menstrual cup that has more material and more firmness in the body. So in some ways, yeah, you can't use any other cup in the Sunny Cup applicator, but you also can't use the Sunny Cup without the applicator, at least easily. 
you know, in my head, I kept thinking, well, people might graduate, you know, they might get tired of using the applicator and then they might move on to just inserting this cup because they like the cup or it works for them or whatever. You know, they just get tired of this because that can definitely happen. In some ways, I see it as training wheels um, for a certain part of the audience who just wanted an easier thing to try to use menstrual cups instead of inserting by hand or they were, you know, skeeved out by using their hands, which of course I 100% say, please don't be skeeved out, it's your body. Just use your hands. If that's the only reason you're using an applicator, please reconsider. It's not that bad, you just wash your hands. And you'll end up having to wash this bloody thing anyway. So you're gonna come in contact with blood. When you remove it, you're gonna come in contact with blood. So if like that's your only reason for an applicator, please reconsider. But I just really struggled inserting it without the applicator, funny enough. <laughs> It was actually, uh, in some ways, easier to insert with the applicator. When I inserted that way, it was not done well, and so I ended up taking it out and putting it in with the applicator again. And this time I used lubricant. Um, I think I put lubricant on my finger and I rubbed the inside of the barrel. That was not enough. It just did not make an impact. It was as difficult to push through the barrel as it was without lubricant. So um, at that point, I was still struggling. Huh. There's that pop. Going back to the I want to do it in the shower experience, I do a lot of my menstrual cup and disc stuff in the shower in the mornings. I like to empty it and then wash it and put it back in in the shower. It's very convenient. Having an applicator means if you have more than one space, more than one place where you do your menstrual cup activities, um, you have to bring this with you. Whereas I kind of wanted to just let it dry in between washes at my sink and then go back to it at night. So that meant I always had to go back to the same place, the same bathroom. What was frustrating for me is that I felt anchored and grounded in my menstrual cup experience with this product in a way that I don't, I feel such freedom with cups and discs. I think probably there is a system people can establish, um, but I just have my ways and this was so inconvenient for me. And I usually say that cups and discs, the selling point after all these years of using them is their convenience. This was the opposite of convenient for me. Now, if you really struggled with putting in your cup and this became the reason you can use a cup, then it doesn't matter. Like you're gonna do it. I'm not that audience. So that was where it was really frustrating that whole period where I had to go to this, find this, and then go put it in. But I will say the spots came in super handy. Uh, the spots drying racks. I put this on the spot drying rack every morning when I came upstairs at night to Go put it back in it was already dry on day two i did experience leaking so it's day two and yesterday was good because i didn't leak today has been the opposite of that at the end of the day i'll find out if there's anything left in the cup because the period underwear has been working hard today a lot of you know that i vlog my periods each month and so when i tried this initially I was sharing it basically live. I mean, it takes 24 hours and I have to edit it and then I have to voice over it. Um, but I was sharing that experience here on YouTube and on Instagram and on TikTok. On Instagram, I'm friends mutuals with um, a woman named April Davis who runs the Vagina Blog. She was sent a Sunny Cup to try and she was kind of having a very similar experience to me in that it was very hard to push the product through the barrel with the pusher. And in our private messages, I was basically like, exasperated and frustrated because it was not working and I was feeling crazy because it's it looks so easy you know the videos online make it look so easy um, even I went and looked at some of the reviews on the website and the couple that had come in by then everyone said it was pretty easy and I think it was like I felt almost targeted by this one video that came up in Sunny Speed of someone who they gifted a Sunny Cup at a convention and then they went in the bathroom and they put it in. They're like, wow, that was great. And I mean, I don't know how to say this, but at the time it was almost like targeted to me to be like, what is wrong with you? Why is this so hard for you? Because this random person who does not have 10 years of cup experience just shoved it in without any issue and said it was great and she's never even used a menstrual cup before. So I was like, well, okay, why is this so hard for me? Like, am I the only person experiencing it? So I felt so much relief when April said she was also really struggling to push it through. So here is the tip that I'm passing on to you that April Davis gave me that worked great. She said to have the tip already out. Oh. 
I'm actually, fuck. It surprised me again. You fold it like you would. You put it in the applicator like you would. Do the sunny cup fold. Uh, push it through into the barrel just like you would. And then instead of putting it into your body like this where the cup has not exited the applicator as you would with a tampon applicator, you actually push it to where it is sticking out. And then you put it in and that helps it go through the tube with a little less resistance. It was still not easy, but that was less of a physical fight with the applicator if the tip of the cup is already out. So I think it's a great tip. Day fours are pretty light for me. This morning I took a shower and I decided I didn't want to deal with the applicator anymore. So I emptied the cup and then I just folded it and put it in in the shower, which is a challenge based on the design. Otherwise it was, you know, a good experience. I just was not ready to deal with that applicator anymore. And so I just took it out and it's retired. It is drying um, and I'm switching to period underwear for the trailing off part. One of the other things that I wanted to point out for people who are using this product and, you know, looking for guidance in this video, I experienced something that was somewhat helpful for me, um, but maybe not something you want to happen. When I would put the cup in, the stem would be like collapsed inside of the bottom of the cup. And that actually shortened the length for me. And as someone with a slightly lower than average cervix, it did help me. I was just washing the dishes and I suddenly sneezed and I felt a pop. And then immediately after, I could feel something was not right. The bottom of the cup was stuck inside of it, popped out like a turkey thing. So now the cup is too low and I can feel it. And at some point, I didn't even know it was collapsed inside of the cup because I intentionally did not check my cups after I inserted them. So when I went to remove it, there was like a flat bottom with a dimple. And so I had to go find the base of the cup, pull it out like boop, and then pull the cup out. There is a menstrual cup designed intentionally to do this. It's called the Formunsa XL. It has a shallower section in the silicone that's meant to go boop and go short. So. I mean, it worked for me. I didn't mind it at all. Now for some comparisons to kind of show you the size of Sunny um, and how it compares to other menstrual cups. This is a 43 millimeter rim. So it is quite similar to other cups like Salt Regular. Softer body, of course. So when I was mentioning, hey, you can break the seal like this, that doesn't do anything like this does. Lengthwise, it is really close to Diva Cup with the stem on. Now, it does get a little bit shorter than Diva Cup with the body length when you trim the stem. I did struggle with the length, even with the stem trimmed at the beginning of my cycle. So the fact that it tucked into it by accident was a godsend for me on my comfort. My experience with this Sunny Cup was pretty not great on the insertion side for my full cycle. I was just so frustrated. I tried various amounts of lubricant and it still was not great, but I wanted so badly to come on here and say otherwise. So earlier this week, I gave it another set of dry runs. I just don't see other people struggling with getting the, the cup to come out of the applicator in the same way. I put a bucket of lubricant into the barrel. I just poured it into the barrel. I added so much lube in here that it's leaking, but hey, let's just see what happens. I want to do the other tip where you start with it already out. It's like stringy lubricant everywhere. Um, I do use two hands and just insert a little bit. That amount of lube was so much easier. Um, yeah, I, I struggled so much. So why was it so hard before? Like literally, why was it so hard? For the first time ever, I had what felt like a very easy insertion experience. And of course I used buckets of lube inside of the tube. And that was like how it felt it should be. And maybe it is for everyone else. And if I had that experience every single time that I tried this product, I think I would have come on here with a much higher amount of praise to say this was a game changer. I still think 
you know, it's going to work for a lot of people. And especially if they have the experience I had on that insertion. So between buckets of lube and this being out of the tip of the menstrual cup applicator already, those two things made it to where it was like, I just hit myself in the head with it. So then I took it out, I washed it again. Um, you know, I used my little spot. And then I reassembled the whole thing, but without the buckets of lube, no lube. And again, I had struggles. Yeah, there's that struggle. <gasps> Fuck, <laughs> there's that pop. For me, it is not conducive to an easy experience to add buckets of lube. Little bit of lube, no problem. Like rub it on the rim, you know, if you're inserting a menstrual cup manually as well, like that's great, it's easy. But buckets of lube was like literally pouring out so that it was making a mess. That's not fun. Now let's talk about the pop. Huh. Fuck. 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 Ha. Huh. There's that pop. The pop is other than insertion, the second least favorite part of using this product because you don't know when it's gonna hit. And it's intense. Because this rim was designed to open forcefully, think about like a, an umbrella, you know, has to like open, right? There's force behind this rim. It's a four, maybe even a four and a half, if I'm being honest, on the firmness. And because it's the only firm part of it, once it comes and ejects out of that um, applicator at whatever speed you push it, it is going to explode. But when it comes to the experience of it exploding in your vagina, it's just not pleasant. I think one time it was a smaller pop and I was like, oh, it wasn't so bad. It didn't pop, oh, thank God. And then one time it popped, but it was way past when I had put it in. And that happens with regular menstrual cups too, but because this one's so firm, when it does that delayed pop, I mean, it'll make you jump. I, want, I made sure when I was reviewing this that I tried to kind of wipe the slate clean because there are a lot of things that I was not loving about the marketing, the delays. Marketing though, I do have to hold this product to a very high standard because they market it as working for everyone and they market it as something that solves every problem. If you've had a problem with a menstrual cup, this is gonna solve it. The founder, co-founder Drew on camera, like look, we this, this makes it all easy. Um, and so when you go and purchase a product that's been marketed sort of like an infomercial that, oh, this, this regular menstrual cup is too clunky and hard and you can't use it and oh, but this, this is so easy. Well, you kind of expect that it's gonna be really easy. And my experience was not that easy and it was actually harder than other menstrual cups. Mine was the opposite where this felt like the before the infomercial and I was struggling and I was literally dropping pieces and couldn't push it through and sweating. And then if I used a regular menstrual cup or disc, I didn't have that same experience. So I actually had like the opposite where one was easier than the other. I was trying very hard to make this work as easy as it was shown to me. And only with buckets of lube and an additional trick was it ever like super easy to insert. Now, if I did that every time, I'd have that experience every time and it would be so much easier. So you can do that. But the inconvenience of adding all those additional steps to me is not worth it. If you need this product though, and this is the only thing that will help you use a menstrual cup because you can't reach to insert the cup. Whatever, you know, you have super long acrylic nails, doesn't change what you have to do to remove it, but it might help you insert it. You know, you get to make that choice and decide if this is worth it for you, the inconvenience or the washing, the additional washing time, carrying this with you um, on the go, having to do that in the uh, public restroom stalls and having nowhere to sit this, like if there's no shelf, um, the prep station, the prep of doing this in public really like makes me concerned. I haven't done it, but you would have to sort of balance all of these things while in a public restroom. And if you don't have a place to put your bag, you're wearing your bag or you're sitting on the floor, whatever. Like there's just all these scenarios in my head. Do I think everyone will benefit from this? No, of course not. I also can't say that for any other menstrual cup or disc, including the one I designed. It just is not gonna work for everyone. I still want it to work and I'm glad, I'm so glad that it did work in a lot of ways for me. Um, it did not work in the way I think it was marketed, which was to make it easier. It did not make it easier for me, um, but it did work. It did push the cup up, the cup did open. I could use this cup 
um, I wouldn't not use this cup. You know, there are a couple little negligible things, but I can definitely still use this cup completely comfortably and it does not leak. Or it did not leak most of the time, I should say. I don't love being negative. <laughs> So I really was hoping that like it would turn around. Um, and I don't think it's entirely negative. I do think there are some positives. There are definitely some positives in this experience and in this review. It didn't leak. I did get it to push up there. It did open, which was my biggest fear that it wouldn't open after using an applicator and I'd have to manually open it. That part worked. Um, you know, there were just other pieces of the puzzle that were not it for me. And if it comes down to convenience and speed, I'm going to put it in with my hands. It's just much faster and easier for me. Oh yeah, I did dread, I did dread this review. I've been putting it off. I've been like waiting for more feedback from other people. Um, and I keep seeing, for, for the most part, really positive experiences. So that's why I say, please go and read the reviews on their website because I think my experience, frustratingly, has not been super easy the way it was advertised, but other people are having that experience. So I might be the minority in the group of people who does not find this very easy. That's it, I hope I covered everything. If you wanna share your own experience with Sunny Cup, please do in the comments, let me know how it went for you. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.